Hey right, so it's John Nosy Thank You today back for a special video. Uh, we've been cleaning out my storage room recently and I found my dad's old cars. And it, we call this box the big box of little cars and I thought I'd open it and see if we can find any cool stuff that I could show to you guys. So let's crack her open. I have not looked in this in a very long time so it'll be interesting to see what there is. We do have a lot of NASCAR diecast here. We have a, I believe this is a Dale. Jet 88 car, looking pretty cool. Let's take a look in this collector's case before we look in any of the other boxes. So I'll just put the lid back on here. Open this guy up. All right. Make sure I don't hit that. Cause these are all of my dad's old Matchbox cars. It looks like. Wow. Just look. Look at this. Some of this stuff is so old and so cool. I wonder if it's, I wonder if how much these cars are worth. Like look at that, we got an old Volkswagen Type 2 bus there. That looks really, really cool. It has, it has a little thing on the top. What do we have here? Looks like Ferrari Berlinetta in green. Is this a Hot Wheels or a Matchbox? Yeah, this is a Matchbox. I thought it was a Matchbox, just basing, based on what it looked like there. Things are amazing. Definitely some collector's items here. What do we have here? The bottom. Volkswagen 1600 TL. That's really cool. Do the doors open? Oh, and the doors open too. I think the doors might open on the Ferrari too. Nope, doors don't, don't open the Ferrari. It's just the Volkswagen thing. That's awesome. Ooh, we have a Hot Wheels button here. What is it? Split an image. Does not look like it has the little clip on the back there. But still cool stuff. All of these cars are so old. Look how small this Matchbox is. A Commer 30 CWT van by Lensley. So I don't think this is Hot Wheels or Matchbox. It's another brand called Lensley. Look at that. The doors slide open like that. And you can close them. That's cool. Some history right there. We've got a convertible of some sort. What is this? This is another Lensley car. It's a Pontiac convertible. These Lensley cars are a lot smaller. I do not believe they are 1 64th scale like Hot Wheels and Matchbox are. I don't know if I'll be able to look in every single slot, but I'm going to look at some of the ones that catch my eye. Looks like we have a convertible Mercedes here. The window is, windshield, I mean, has definitely been broken off, but... What do we have? Mercedes 230 SL. Take a look at that. Got a little trailer hitch on the back. Cool thing for Matchbox to add. I wish Matchbox still did that to all of their cars. I think that would be really cool. Oh, let's take a look at these ones in the middle here. I totally forgot to look at. We got a tow truck that still has a hook there. That's cool. Wonder if you could attach. Oh, definitely. You could attach it to maybe like the rivet on the bottom to tow the car. That's cool. So, is this a Matchbox or Lensley? So, this is. Oh, Matchbox. Series by Lensley. Okay, so wait, I'm confused. So is this a Matchbox then? Has to be. Because this one's Matchbox and it says like made by Lensley too. I'm not really like smart when it comes to Hot Wheels heritage, but still pretty cool stuff. Alright, let's open the next side. Ooh, we got a lot of cars here. Looks like we have an old Ford GT. It's missing a wheel. But it has rubber tires. Matchbox series Ford GT. It's probably a much older Ford GT, way older than 2004, most definitely. Wonder if the tire is still in here. I don't know if I'll, I'll might take a closer look after this video, see if I can find that rubber tire. This is another rubber tired car. It looks like a Mercedes Unimog, but it has the Mercedes logo in the front. So perhaps this is a Mercedes that I do not know of cool stuff. This, I am for sure know is a Mercedes. This is a Tomica, made in Japan, Mercedes. That's actually really cool. I wonder how we got a Tomica car made in Japan. 
a 300 SL and the doors go up too. I don't know if Tomica still does that, but wow. That is, it's still in pretty good shape too, I would say. So, looks like we have a old, old, old police car, a Ford Galaxy. Look at that, you can even see there's a little person in the window there. That's very nice. We got a bike with a little uh, thing on the side. I'm not sure what it's called. I'm not very good with bikes. Cars are mainly my thing, not really bikes. So sorry about that. We have an ambulance. That is really, really sick. It's a very, very old ambulance. I went to a, uh, oh, it's a Cadillac ambulance. I went to a um, car show the other month and I made a little vlog on it, didn't post it, but there was one of these cars on it and it was actually an ambulance. So, that was pretty cool. Alright, I think that'll do it for this little matchbox case. Uh, let's, I'm gonna go ahead and secure this. And let's see what else is in this box. A whole bunch of goodies here. That's a sick matchbox case too. That's a, probably the 4 GT that was in it, so that's nice to see. We've got a tub of cars here. These are all NASCAR, so I don't think I'll be doing a lot of stuff on NASCAR here, but that is a lot of old NASCAR cars. Another box of a lot of old NASCAR cars. We have a Hot Wheels Pop-Up 12 Collector. See, look at that. You can even see uh, my dad wrote on one. He was younger. We got Twin Mill, Turbo Fire, Splitting Image. That's probably where the button came from. I'm going to ask my dad where this came from, but this is 1967 Hot Wheels stuff. And I know what this collector case is because I've seen it before. Because you can put your cars there and then this will pop up and you can actually put orange track on that middle there. Which I, I used this a lot when I was younger, when I played with cars. Uh, this is this is some really good memories right here. Awesome. Next, we have a big tub of, looks like more cars. Got some red lines in here, so I think this is where we'll go next. Hot Wheels Racing. Look at that. 2000 Collector Edition. Number four. Who, who drove this? Robbie Hamilton. The number four Kodak car. Definitely awesome to keep in the package. And then we have another NASCAR car here. Oh, we have a number 44 with the Hot Wheels logo on it. This is the Hot Wheels number 44 car. I wonder how much... This is all valued at. It'll be super cool to find out because I've not looked in this box for a couple of years now and since I started collecting Hot Wheels. This is really cool stuff. Looks like we got a trading card or something right there. Cool, cool stuff. And then we just have a whole bunch of boxed NASCAR cars in here. And looks like we have some posters and calendars, it looks like. So I'm going to put the boxes of NASCAR cars back in because they're just a whole bunch of classic NASCAR cars it looks like. So I'll put that here and then we have some awesome Hot Wheels slash match slash matchbox. These are the ones that he kept in his collector's been the other ones that he got when he was younger. You know I played with when I was younger so let's take a look and see what's in here. We got it's like a Jaguar no it's an Aston Martin 3L 143 scale by Solido made in France. That's cool. Look at that. That guy doesn't even have hands. Does it roll? It rolls. That's cool. Looks like we got a tractor of some sort. Who is this made by? Matchbox. So this is a Matchbox tractor. That's cool. Looks like we have another Matchbox here. And actually, I found this. This was not in the box, but I think it'd be cool to showcase. Because we have this uh, like car hauler. I believe this is made by Matchbox as well. So that is pretty cool. I'm gonna put that with the other trucks. So next, ooh, we got a red line. Looks like a Mustang with no hood. This is a Hot Wheels. It's missing a wheel, sadly. I wonder if the wheel's still in that box. I'll have to find out. We have the Mustang Boss Haas. It says. It's awesome. Got some red lines there. That's really cool. Next up, we've got. This looks like a Dodge, I would say. It's another Hot Wheels. It's a custom T-Bird. That is really, really cool. I think the hood comes up on that. 
Look at that. Lots of old classic red lines here. This is really cool. Ooh, we have a Volkswagen Beetle. This one's very, very small. Custom Volkswagen by Hot Wheels. This is another red line. This thing has seen some better days, I will say. Yes, this, this is amazing. Just look at that. What else do we have here? Lots of red lines, boys. We got lots of red lines to look at. Custom, another custom T-Bird. So these guys are like the, the same, only there's a different color variation on that. So if you can take a look at that, that's pretty cool. Set those guys aside. Ooh, look at this. I believe this is a McLaren. No, it's a Chaparral 2G. You can see the engine there. But the back comes off of it. Look at the little, look at the windshield indent there. For the driver's side. This is really cool. I really like the paint on this. Very fancy. We've got a number 48. I love the paint on this one too. Of course, it's another red line made by Hot Wheels. And what is this? An Indy Eagle. This thing is actually really, really sick. I would buy this if this came out in the store today. I've not seen a car like that made by Hot Wheels, but maybe a, maybe a fantasy car too, but that is it's crazy. Ooh, this thing. What is this called? Hot Heap. I love the gold variation on there. The engine looks very cool. Put the exhausts on the bottom there. These wheels are, the axles are pretty bent. I will say, it does not roll very well, although it does turn by itself. That's pretty cool. Huh. Just trying to make the best of it. This looks like a custom Firebird, as, you, as it says on the bottom. Lots of Pontiacs in here. You can see the engine there, Hot Wheels, lots of red lines. Of course, the hood would pop open. That's cool stuff. Ooh, we have another open wheel car here. This is the, uh, let's see if I can find a name on it. Shelby Tur Tur Turbina? That's pretty cool, number 69, nice. See, so it says Shelby on the top there. Little slot there for the racer. I wonder if that is the actual size of like the little cabinet in the real life car. I wonder how big this car is in real life because these wheels, those are massive. I don't, even, I don't even know if that's a real car, so don't quote me on that. Uh, next up, ooh, this looks like a, Cor a Corvette, maybe? It says Torero. So it's a fantasy car, and the hood pops up like that. That is really cool. It's like a fantasy casting Hot Wheels. I tried to mimic like a sports car or something like that back in... I don't remember the date my dad bought this. I'll ask him later today, but that is sick. That is really cool. Looks like we have a Mustang here. What year is it? Nope, it's no year. It's just another custom Mustang. Look at that the hood pops open. This is awesome. I like the blue. All these cars have seen better days, but you know what? They've probably been played with very, very well. When my dad was younger. What do we have here? Beatnik Bandit, it says. Look at that. Got a little dome on there. I like the front of the car. It looks like a face with the engine on top. Looks very cool. Man, I wish Hot Wheels would bring back a lot of these castings. It could be really cool to see this and then the Beatnik Bandit come back. Maybe as a red line set, but I don't know. It's up to Hot Wheels. Ooh, looks like this is maybe an old Ford, perhaps? This is a Johnny Lightning car. Custom 32 Ford, it says. There's a little red thing on the bottom. I do not know what that does. I think it's just a piece of the interior. And I think the trunk goes up, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, look at that. It's actually the rear seats. Not much leg room, if you see there. But this is strange. It's, I didn't know there was a Johnny Lightning, uh, like, red line car. That's cool. Got all sorts of brands here. What is next? Looks like we got another Mustang. It's another custom Mustang, so it is the same as this blue one. We've got a red one and a blue one. These are awesome. You know, Bare Metal Hot Wheels, I think he does restorations on cars. That These are some cars that I think he would really enjoy. I don't even know if he watches, but you know what? Shout out to him, because he has cool videos. Alright, next up, this car. Looks like the rear comes up. I think it's a fantasy car, if I were to guess. Turbo Fire. Is that the same as another fantasy car that had the back come up like this? I don't remember. No, it is not. But these guys look like, like super the same. Is this turbo? Yeah, wait. Tur 
I don't I don't know how to pronounce the name. The names are so small on the bottoms of the cars there. If you can even read them. Look at that, a lot of moving parts. Those are some sick fantasy cars that Hogwarts came out with back in the day. Alright, what do we have here? Looks like another fantasy car. Red line, of course. We got Silhouette. I don't know if that's Silhouette, probably. Uh, engine, I think we might have opened another... We might have seen another one of these cars. I'm looking. I don't think so. This is the first one. Looking cool. Looking cool. Fantasy car. Next up, we have a number 10. What is this? This is a Lola GT70. Probably would go good with that 4 GT and those open wheeled cars because this looks like an awesome race car. It's heavy. I wonder if it would have been fat, fast on the track. We'll have to see. But very cool. Next. Hot Wheels Nitty Gritty Kitty. That's the name of this car. Look at that. We got a whole bunch of decals on the side there. It's like a demolition derby car. We've got the stripes and everything on there. Looking cool and stuff. Very, very cool. Oh, we got a lot of buttons here I'm uncovering. This one is most definitely a Corvette. We've got a custom Corvette here in red. Does the hood come up? Yes, it does. Look at that. That is awesome. All right. That is the Corvette. Next up, we have a Redline Twin Mill. I know you guys know about this car. This is the car that we saw written on the inside of this case here. This is so cool. Hot Wheels Twin Mill. The wheels are pretty bent. Wow, this is amazing. This is, Clink, this is the first Twin Mill that came out. That is awesome. And then Hot Wheels has a real life version of that car too. So that's pretty cool. Ooh, we have a long flat car here. It's another Hot Wheels car. It's a This is a Diora. This is the original Diora. That is sick. Red line wheels. Drifted, I think his um, logo is a Diora. A Diora too, but this is the classic Diora. Look at that. That is amazing. There's no surfboards on it just yet, but that'll come in a future update of that car. Ooh, look at this. We have an old racing Ferrari. I don't know if this is Hot Wheels or not. This is by... Lesnia, so I think this is a Matchbox car. Well, back in the day, Matchbox used to have the Ferrari license. Those were good days, looks like. This thing's really light. I wonder if it would be fast on the track. I'm definitely not going to race these cars, though, because they are way too special. And then this is our last Redline car, it looks like, in the bin. We have another... We have a custom Cougar here in the... Hood opens, of course, nice and blue. Redline. What else could you ask for? And then we have a lot of buttons here. Let's keep looking at these cars. What is this? This is a custom fleet side, and it looks like there's a little plastic attachment onto it. I wonder if it can come out of the car. It can. I think it looks, it's actually a ramp for Orange Track. I don't know how it works, but definitely want to find out. That is so cool. That is really cool that Hot Wheels did something like that. I wish Hot Wheels made cars still like this that have like track extensions on them. That's awesome. Let's take a look at these buttons. Cause Hot Wheels came out with a 50th anniversary set this year because it's their 50th anniversary. And they came with a whole bunch of buttons. Let's take a look at some of these. We got a custom Cougar. We have the Dior that we just opened. That's very nice. We have, looks like a 32 Ford Woody Classic and the red custom Mustang. Got some more buttons there, that's awesome. A custom T-Bird. We've seen that car. I think there's a button on the back of it there. It is the Twin Mill. Original. Twin Mill, twin mill button there. I don't know if the colors are wrong on the buttons or just the buttons have one color for the car. But that's cool. And then we have a custom Firebird as our last button. Awesome, awesome stuff. I'm going to put the buttons in this little Matchbox car here. Fit just right. Alright, we just have a couple more Matchbox uh, cars here. We have a cement truck. I believe this is a Matchbox. Yep. King Size. So there is a King Size series for making cars. This is really sick. And it is called the Ready Mix Concrete Truck. Definitely really, really sick. Because it's hollow in there. You can definitely put, you know, cement in there if you wanted to pave a little road for your cars. Looks like... Whoa. 
What is this? This looks like another Matchbox car. It's made by Lensley. And the bottom of it opens. Look at that. That is awesome. Don't know what it attaches to, but it'll be cool to look back and find out. And then here's another truck carrying one of the same, uh, like, containers. I guess you could put the little hook on there. And then have the truck carrying two. So, there you go. Nice. And then we have our last truck. Looks like it's a little hauler, perhaps, for horses, because it says stables on it. This is another Matchbox King Size car. It's an articulated horse van. Look at that. That is some awesome stuff right there. And then that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes my dad's old Matchbox and Hot Wheels. These are absolutely amazing. I don't know if I'm going to put them on display or keep them in here, but otherwise these cars are so cool to actually get some air. You know, I think the coolest one I opened was this Twin Mill. I don't have one of the newer Twin Mills to review it right now, but I think this thing takes the cake. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to leave your comment on any of these old cars, make sure to do so. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So, take it easy and peace.